Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SUSS Convocation for the Class of 2021. Please be seated as the Convocation will begin shortly. As the Convocation is a formal occasion, we request for all graduates and guests to remain seated throughout the ceremony and all mobile devices to be switched to silent mode. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. Today is a very important day. I want to celebrate with your families and friends. This is the day you have all been waiting for. As you conclude one chapter in your life journey, a new one now begins. Hence, I would like to wish to each and every one of you a lot of success for the years to come. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the academic procession and remain standing for the national anthem.
I declare this convocation open for the presentation of graduates for the degrees in science and technology. Regent, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SUSS Convocation 2021. This is your event, as today you, our graduates, are finally at the end of your venture to win the prize of a degree. And for your guests, they are severing your success with you after accompanying you in your journey. Class of 2021, Congratulations on your well-deserved success. We are always happy at Convocation, for that is when we see the fruit of our labour, sending out those whom we have nurtured and prepared for work and life as SUSS graduates. But let us reflect, what type of graduates is SUSS sending out? Let me touch on three aspects. You have come through challenges, particularly in the last one and a half years, when you had to complete school in the midst of a global pandemic. It was not easy. You had to attend classes and take your exams online, for instance. Besides the demands of your studies, your lives were disrupted and there were added stress and uncertainties. You persevered, overcame them, and grew stronger as a student and as a person. You adapted to an uncertain and changing environment. So I would say, well done. My call to you is to be similarly adaptive, or what some may describe as agile, when you face your future. There will be more ups and downs, upheavals. But you have coped well before and you can similarly adapt and thrive. Secondly, you have done learning, self-learning, peer learning, integrative learning, and doing learning when there were many other tempting things to do. Don't let this habit stop. Be graduates who never stop learning. Lifelong learning and collaboration are keys in carving out a successful career path. Learning about life makes you a better person, wiser, more able to deal with people and life circumstances. Real world issues are often interconnected and it is essential for you to have multiple perspectives, be open-minded and interact readily with peers from other disciplines. You caught some of these in SUSS and you will find them useful throughout your life. A final point, be graduates who are grateful. Gratitude is one of the values we hope you will carry with you all your life. You were given the opportunity to earn a degree and a means to progress. When you are grateful, you can better accept others, deal kindly with them, encourage, understand the situations of others, and do good. In fact, I urge you, act on all the good values that you have adopted at SUSS. It is not what you say or hide in your hearts, but what you do that depicts what kind of graduate you are. On our part in SUSS, we have endeavoured to give you a holistic education that nurtures the head, heart and habit in you. We have enabled you to be able to study anytime, anywhere, and afforded you exposures to applied and experiential learning to broaden your perspectives. Various measures were rolled out to support our students and alumni during the COVID-19 period such as our Student Care Fund. Another project, the SUSS Class Giving 2021, 
which is a student-led initiative, raises funds to help present and future SUSS students in financial need. And I call on you to contribute to this fund to help others coming after you. And so that you can have a memorable send-off, we are holding Physical Convocation 2021 ceremony despite the pandemic restrictions. So how will we and you measure your success? Is it merely by your academic results? Is it by how successful you will be in your future career? Or how much of a happy life you'll have? Well, some of this in part. I hope your success will be much more about how you will be a conscientious citizen, someone who will give to others and uplift those in need, and who will make a positive contribution to our community. I wish you every success. Thank you. Ms. Aileen Tan Amel, member as USS Board of Trustees, Professor Ruby Go, Provost as USS, Ms. Agnes Kwang, Registrar as USS, graduates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today marks a special day for all of you, a day in which you should rightly be proud of what you have accomplished. For many of you, your academic journey has not been a smooth one, even, so, even more so uprooted by the pandemic and turmoil of 2020 spinning over 2021. All of us have dealt with interruptions to our lives and changes that we were forced to make and a complete disruption of normalcy the way we used to know. Yet, here you are, having pulled through all your difficulties, overcoming your obstacles, and achieving what has brought you here today. Convocation marks a personal milestone. It matters little which stage of life you are in, what job you have, or what position you hold. Each of you had begun your time with SUSS with different objectives. As you all gather here today, albeit socially distanced, the people or the students on your left and right have grown from strangers to course mates and for some to even close friends. These are your people, your tribe, with which you stand proudly with today. Your degree that you will be conferred with is a mark of your ability to not only overcome the odds that you individually face, but also welcome into a community of learners. Collectively, you have shown a lot of resilience and tenacity that should be commended, and this is your deserved reward. As you take your learning beyond the walls of the classroom and into your homes and workplaces, may I take this opportunity to encourage you to see opportunities for education everywhere you go. In SUSS spirit, this is what lifelong learning is all about. Not just in formalized education settings, but also through unexpected instances in life. Our world is ever changing faster than before. And the only way to stay relevant and connected in this evolving world is to try to evolve along with it. The degree you have earned through your hard work over the last years is not only an indicator of what you have done in the past, but also what you can potentially achieve in your future if you continue and to have an open and inquisitive mind, something 
which you have already proven yourselves to possess. As the graduating class of 2021, my colleagues and I are proud to have been part of your journey in some way or another. It is our hope that you will wear this accolade with pride and you carry on onwards and beyond. Once again, congratulations to one and all for this achievement well earned. Presiding officer, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Building and Project Management has earlier been conferred. Chua Ti Hua. Cindy Wong Sien Oi. Duane Huang Yao Hua Gabriel Michael Cha Zi Wei Genevieve Tio Chi Yen Lim Hai Kong Lim Tian Hui Fei Mohammad Fahan bin Rosli Mohammad Fohil bin Mohammad Fasdullah Mohammad Tofikali bin Mohammad Yasim Mohammad Ridwan bin Sharil Muhammad Aidil bin Zulkifri Muhammad Hazik Ifan bin Asmi Nadia binte Saud Ng Chi Yen Nu Hui Yuan O Kiao Kiao Pang Kai Li Pang Si Ling R. Vira Vignaraja C. 
Jia Jia Jun Benedict. Shafuddin Shah bin Abdul Raza. Winner of the BCA Silver Award, Siti Radia Binte Zaino. Tio Jia Jun. Wong Jia Le. Yap Shu Yu, Stephanie. Zhu Jian Yuan. Ang Wan Xuan. Ang Yi Xiang, Ivan. Boon Jia Le. Fan Wei Yi. Fahi Bin Ayub. Faris Khan bin Hussein Khan Surati. Hong Jie Wei. Huang Zhi Gen. Joshua Dinesh, son of Makia Asam. Ki Chin Singh, Benedict. Mohammad Ariel Hilmi bin Mohammad Noor. Mohammad Fadaus bin Cody. Ng Teck Chin, Terence. Nor Iskandaria bin Kosnian. Nuru Hamiza binte Gufran. Kwa Wei Leong. Salina binte Saleh. Sharifa Fazila binte Syed Ali. Shava Kuma, son of Kuna Segaran. Sim Si Lun, Aaron. Sophia Sia
Tan Fu Eng. Tan Lei Xiong, Anthony. Xu Jin Jie, Nicholas. Presiding officer, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Engineering Electronics has earlier been conferred. Winner of the IES Top Student Award, An Jun Hong, Daniel. <laughs> Lee Guan Kiet. Li Peng Liang, Sean. Tan Wei Tiong. Wang Zhong Cheng, Daniel. Wong Wai Chuan Ang Ray Ling Chong Yu Wei Chua Eng Sing Go King Lee Mohammad Elmi Shah bin Mohammad Nazil. Muhammad Fairuz bin Wahab. <laughs> Muhammad Khairunizam bin Khalid. <laughs> Russell Leong Chi Wai. Sharifa Nuru Tasmin Binte Syed Ali Ahabs Te Yu Xiang E Shamsiya Taranum Jason Tan Jian Jie Shen Law Tech Po Lee Keming Melvin Lee Rong Rong Quack Rong Sheng Yo Shun Shui Zhao Jian Shi
The graduate representative for the School of Science and Technology class of 2021 is Ms. Lo Hui Wen, who graduated with the degree of Bachelor of Science, Biomedical Engineering. We will now watch a video recording of Ms. Lo's speech. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on the session you're attending. Distinguished academics and staff, guests, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Hui Wen, a graduate from the Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering program. It is my honour to speak on behalf of all my fellow graduates from the School of Science and Technology. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate the class of 2021. I'm sure we have all been waiting for this day since year one, day one. Everyone of us here sitting here have put in great amount of effort to graduate, even though some of you may think that you just want to pass and get a degree. But still, working and studying at the same time is not as easy as it sounds. And I bet all of you have put in more effort than you intended initially to just pass. Back in 2015, when I was a fresh graduate from Singapore Polytechnic, I thought that my education would be smooth and that I would straight away enroll at a local university after I graduate. But no, I got rejected for two years straight. In the meantime, I did not waste my time waiting. I was working full-time as an R&D analyst, but at the same time, I was directionless and depressed. Not every one of us is fortunate to know what we want to do in life right from the start. Many of us need to go out there to explore and accumulate experience to find our path in life. For me, the only direction I have at that point of time was that I can only do science, because I have always done well in science subjects since young. That is why I do not want to stop at a degree. I want to further my studies and eventually do academic research. However, I was not given a chance to prove myself until I received the acceptance letter from SUSS. That was when I vowed to put in my best effort to excel and I really cherished this opportunity because I had thought that this may be my only chance to show that I can also perform well and pursue academic excellence in SUSS. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank SUSS for accepting me and giving me the chance to meet my capstone supervisor, Dr. Rajendra Acharya. Thank you, Dr. Raj, for recognizing my potential, getting me into academic research, and guiding me on publishing academic papers under SUSS. Also, thank you, Professor Oi Chu Ping, for being part of my learning journey. Without both of your guidance and that of my other professors, I will not be able to make academic achievements or advance my a career in academic research. It means the world to me. I would also like to thank my parents for their ever-present support, especially my mother. Thank you for being my pillar of support. During my exam, my mother had put up with my whining. For four consecutive years, I would pester my mom and tell her before my exam, wow, this time really die for sure. If I get B, I have to kiss my first class goodbye already. And she will always comfort me by saying, I study so hard for what? Don't need first class one, la. just do your best can ready. Even though she wants me to do well, she doesn't show it because she doesn't want me to be burdened by her expectations of me. So thank you, mom, for attempting to reduce the amount of stress I place on myself. I'm sure, like me, each of you will also have many people that you would like to thank. At this juncture, I would like to invite all graduates to please rise and face your loved ones. Please join me in expressing our utmost appreciation to our loved ones and the university for making this day possible for us. Let's give them our warmest round of applause. Please be seated. In closing, I would like to congratulate my fellow graduates once again for surviving this journey. I'm sure we all had our fair share of difficulties as we pursue our degree, but at the end of the day, all this effort we made to overcome the challenges had paid off. So good luck with your future endeavors. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Coming up next, 
is a virtual choir with the rendition of the university song Onwards and Beyond. This collective effort is by the members of the SUSS Music Interest Group to celebrate this significant milestone, your graduation. I declare this convocation closed. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem.
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated until you are called upon to move out of the hall. Ladies and gentlemen, please be reminded to leave the campus after you leave the hall. We thank you for your cooperation. We now invite graduates from the red zone and guests from the purple zone to follow our ushers to leave the hall. Graduates from the red zone and guests from the purple zone, please follow our ushers to leave the hall. <laughs> 